everyone, it's me Jadine. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing another knife show and tell and the knife of the week is the Shield and Knives Boa. If you guys haven't heard of Shield and Knives, they are a newer knife company and recently they reached out to me and offered to send me a few of their newer models to show you all. So that's kind of what I've been doing for the past few weeks. Um, their stuff is really interesting, really unique, as you guys can tell. Um, so if you're interested in what I have to say about this knife, then please keep on watching. All right, everyone, so I'm just going to be hopping right in. The first thing I will be talking about are the specs on this knife, because as you guys can see, um, when it's completely open, it's a pretty big knife. Um, the overall length on this is 8.74 inches, and it has the blade length of 3.82 inches, and it weighs 4.48 ounces. So it is a pretty big knife, um, almost nine inches in overall length, which honestly can be a little bit overwhelming, but I don't really mind it. Even though I've said this like multiple times in previous videos, I don't really like bigger knives. I prefer it to be small just for my comfort and convenience. But honestly, it just makes sense for this to be really big. Um, the blade on this and the handle are really balanced, so it looks very aesthetically pleasing. Um, and it just feels really nice in my hands too, even though it is on the bigger side. Um, the handle has really nice contours, as you can see, no sharp edges. Um, there really isn't any jimping on this knife, um, besides the tiny little uh, jimping right here on the spine of the blade. A lot of the grip comes from the handle right here on the edges, as you guys can see. Um, that we have some texture. It's not too rough because sometimes with G10 handles, it can be a little bit rough on the hands. Um, and it can tear up your pocket sometimes, but that is not the case at all. It's very, very smooth besides the textured bits on the side. Um, and I really love the snakeskin look, very fitting for the name. Um, and it's, it's unique, it's loud without being obnoxious, which I really appreciate. Shield and Knives is always doing something really crazy, very unique in some way. If you guys haven't seen last week's video, that is probably one of the weirdest knives that I've ever seen. And I mean that in like the best way possible. So please go check that out. Shield and Knives makes some really interesting stuff. Like I said, this is doing something very unique, but without being too crazy or over the top. Um, but let's get into the blade because it is one of my favorite aspects on this knife. Um, we have a beautiful Tonto blade style, very different from what I typically have. Um, a lot of my knives are drop point, so I like that little change in the shape. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, this knife comes in three versions. We have the regular, just plain D2. We have the one with the gray titanium coating and this one that I have, which is the black titanium coating with a beautiful stonewash finish. I really love it. I think it just works very nicely with the rest of the knife. The blade matches the pocket clip, so the aesthetic of this knife is continuous throughout the whole thing, which I really appreciate. Like I said, just a plain old D2. Um, and on the back of it, we have the little serial number right there. Oh, yeah, Shilden's in the front, their logo's right there. And it just says Boa, which is the name of the knife, and Django. Um, if I'm not mistaken, Django is the designer of all of Shilden's knives. And I just like that his name is there. I just like how he is given credit and it's right there on the blade itself. Um, but I really, really like this. Like I said, it is a bit large for me. Um, maybe if they came out with a mini version, that would probably be one of my all-time favorite carries. But it's really not bad. And for the price too, you can pick this up for as low as $46. I've checked like multiple websites to see how much this typically goes for and I got like a bunch of different prices. But um, just to let you guys know if you're interested, your price range for this will be around $40 to $60. So just keep that in mind. I think that's a great price for a knife that's just really nice. Um, the action on this is solid. And I also love how you can open it in two different ways. We have a little cutout right here um, that's actually very acrylic friendly. Even though I have super long fake nails, I can still use the little cutout right here, which is really fun. Um, so yeah, that earns some extra points. But yeah, overall, I really, really like this knife. I've been carrying it with me a lot this week. Um, it's just very easy to carry. Like I said, comfortable. It's cute. Very interesting. I love the snake handles. I love the colors. Love the feel. Love the blade. 
um, and it goes for a great price too. So if you are looking for a budget-friendly EDC, I highly recommend this one. And please go check out Shielden's other knives too. They have some really, really cool stuff. But yeah, that was my short little show and tell on the Shielden Knives Boa. So that concludes this week's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Please follow me on Instagram at Jadine's EDC. I will have a link down below as well as multiple links for Shielden Knives. I have their Instagram, their website, as well as the direct link to pick this up. Um, if you guys are interested, there's also a code if you guys want to buy this. Um, please check out the link that I have down below for Boss Steel Blades. They just opened a new YouTube channel and I'm the host on there. So please go show some support. And once again, thank you so much to Shield and Knives for sending me this. I really, really appreciate it. This has become one of my favorite carries right now. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching this week's video. And I will see you all next Tuesday with another knife show and tell. Bye!